Okay, here are my issues with this motor. First off, this uh, piece right here is loose. I don't know if there's supposed to be some way to uh, properly secure that, but that's how it was when I received the motor. And also, in this area right here, there's a lot of slack. I know that's part partially to uh, blame, but also when I had this apart, this joint right here is it's got some slack to it, probably because of the looseness of this. Probably attributed to this flexing a lot and causing it to uh, wear out prematurely. So that's the first question slash issue. The second one is let me start it up here. I rebuilt the switch. See, I took it apart and replaced the rivets with little uh, nuts and screws. But um, let me take it to okay that's slow speed that's high speed slow speed and then this is supposed to be park obviously it's not going to park because I have it apart when I touch the button with my uh, finger I just barely tap it and it shuts off like it's supposed to but when I have this thing um, assembled it won't shut off so obviously that little um, piece there is not coming in full contact. I have a feeling it's because it's loose and it's probably angled and not pushing it up enough. Now when I took this apart, that little button right there, and you kind of see some of the damage, had been smashed. And you see the, the wear marks there? So I think something catastrophic happened in here but I don't know exactly what. But that button had been smashed into the housing. I was able to get it out and bend everything back into place. And the only issue I have right now is that it won't park. And if that's actually missing a piece, then that's my second issue. But that's my question. I don't know. So. We got our slow speed, high speed, slow speed, and then park. But it won't park when it's assembled. So any help you have would be uh, greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.